Hello there guys, this is Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space, and today we're going to be talking about my Feb Regency TBR for 2023. It's very exciting. Um, I would love to hear what you're going to be reading in 2023 down below. Definitely let me know down below. So, okay, let's, let's jump into it. And also I'm going to be talking about some food that I'm going to be making. So let's start with the food. Let's be different. Um, so food that I'm going to be making was popular during Jane Austen's time. Also, I have to be sort of low carb, so um, mostly veggies and meat is going to be the things that I can do. But I might try some English muffins because Kevin is a fan of English muffins and I feel like they probably wouldn't be that hard to make. So English muffins was one of those. Um, next, scotch eggs, which I made last year and they were so good. They were unbelievably delicious. It's a boiled egg that is covered in pork ground sausage and fried, and it's just unbelievably delicious. Yeah, so I'm definitely making that again 100%. I have a vlog from last year making that, if you're curious. And the other thing I'm going to be making is called Bubble and Squeak, which is such a cute name, and I guess it's called that because when it's cooking, it, that's the sound that it makes, bubbling and squeaking. So from what I can gather, this is basically supposed to be made with leftover. It, it was called the English macaroni and cheese, basically. What, ma what macaroni and cheese is to Americans, bubble and squeak is to English. So that sounds delicious. It sounds like a comfort food. It sounds like something I have to try. So um, you basically take leftover food from a roast, which is something that I'm going to be doing in the coming months, I'm going to be roasting probably some pork and you're supposed to cut slight slices, uh, thin slices of the pork and lightly fry it. And then you put it in a pan with mashed potatoes and other vegetables and you fry it together. So, and yeah, it sounds delicious. So gonna try some bubble and squeak over here. I need to like watch a video of somebody making it just so I can maybe do it right. Maybe make it film worthy. I'm gonna try and vlog Feb Regency again, but uh, right now vlogging is is really backed up. My editing's really backed up, so we'll have to see. I mostly may be doing unedited videos for Feb Regency or shorts. We will see. Okay, um, so onto the TBR. Woo. So for the group pick, we're reading Evelina, obviously. I'm going to do my best with that. I, I might just listen to it. We'll see. Um, and then I also picked out um, for a nonfiction pick, and it's also actually an influence by Jane Austen pick. I'm going to be looking at something that Emma read last year, which was some of Samuel Johnson's essays uh, in The Idler. And you may know this. But I tried reading Rasslas earlier this year for Project Gutenberg, and it was last year. It was last year. It's 2023. Wow. Um, yeah, it was very disappointing. His wit did not come through, but I know that as an essayist, his wit is going to come through. So I'm excited to try The Idler. Um, and yeah, so what else is next? That's my nonfiction pick. I did, by the way, try... The History and Sufferings and Captivity, or whatever, of Mrs. Maria Martin, or Mariah Martin. So disappointing, guys. It starts off basically with a bunch of stereotypes about people in... I don't even remember what it was. It, it was like a, a couple... It was like... I haven't been reading it because I, I decided I, I didn't like it. <laughs> it's like just a bunch of stereotypes about the land where she was captured. And I got like 26% through or something, and she was still just being like, oh yeah, all these guys are thieves, basically. All of them are really great thieves. <laughs> it was like, you know what? Okay, that's it. This is, this is not worth reading. This is not worth my time. So unfortunately, that memoir didn't work out. I would love to sometime find some other memoirs that were written by... Um, people in the Regency period, uh, ideally Britons in the Regency period, but we'll have to see um, if I can find them. So I found a bunch of other ones, but like they were like Americans and some other people. So we want to stick as much as possible in the realm of 
Britain. So um, that was really unfortunate. I was looking forward to that. But at least I got it out of the way and it's not ruining my Feb Regency. <laughs> okay, uh, next <clears throat> we have... Oh, okay, I'm cheating again this year, again, for the plays. I know we're supposed to read a Regency era play, but... I did not get to read Julius Caesar last year, and that is what I want to read. That I really want to read this so much. And lots of people still voted for it, even though... What one? A Winter's... No, it wasn't A Winter's Tale. I don't remember. It was the one about the storm. Anyways, that one was great. I, I loved that. It was so colorful and imaginative. I really want to read this one, though, for the speeches. I like a speech. I like a good speech, especially a good political speech. That's like fascinating. Okay. Um, and you know, they were reading Shakespeare in the, in the Regency period. And I don't really normally read Shakespeare anymore. And I should, cause I really like Shakespeare. So looking forward to reading Julius Caesar. That's going to be my, uh, play pick. That's going to be my pick for the theater. Um, and then also what just recently came into my awareness was from a, um, why are, where's my brain today? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's a Tristan, it's from a Tristan in the classics video and it is called The Vicar of Wakefield by Oliver Goldsmith. Yeah. Looking forward to that one. Hopefully I can fit it in. I already have quite the list of things that I'm going to be reading, but that, that's going to be on my goal list for this year. He's going to be reading it. So we'll see if I can too. Hopefully, hopefully I can. I think it would be right up my alley if I can get to it. So that, those are my Feb Regency plans. I think that's all of them. <laughs> Let me know down below what you're going to be reading for Feb Regency. Would love to hear about it and I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye-bye.